Hi, this is version 3 of Freight Train. I will first show you how it's going to sound and uh, give the explanation after it. So in version 1 you already learned how to play an alternate bass uh, while playing a melody. Uh, in version 2 there was a melody played on and off the beat. And the next thing is to uh, fill up some places by adding some extra notes and uh, by adding some patterns. So for instance when I play this pattern... The alternate bass stays the same. Here's the explanation of this pattern. This is a normal C chord and I start off by playing um, the A string with my thumb. The second one is uh, the G string played with the index finger. The D string played with the thumb. And the middle finger plays the B. So it goes like this. You can first uh, practice this uh, pattern by uh, playing all the chords in no particular order. So now we have to add the melody to it. I start off by just playing the alternate bass. to it. Now add the melody to it. Here are the first two measures slowed down. And as you might hear, uh, it isn't necessary to play this pattern throughout the whole song. The two most important things are that your uh, bass stays tight and on the beat. And you really have to uh, let the melody stick out most of all. So these extra notes and patterns are uh, filling up spaces, but there's no need to make it too crowded. In measure 3 you have to be aware of the use of the middle and index finger of the right hand. Like I said in version 2 when notes are played uh, fast uh, after each other, it's easier to use your uh, index and middle finger uh, after each other to play the melody. So when there are two melody notes on one beat, you have to uh, use your index finger after the middle finger. Here's a little exercise uh, to practice this. For the left hand I only use my third finger on the third of the low E string, so I play an alternate bass of a G chord, like this. And on each beat I play uh, two melody notes. I start off with uh, the middle finger on the B, and after that I use uh, my index finger also for the B. So it goes like this. Now we have to melt them together, so I start off with uh, the bass and add the melody to it. Of course you can change the melody if you like.
When you go back to the C chord in measure 7, there's a hammer-on. But this one goes a little different. The first note is already played as the last note of measure 6. So it starts with playing the loose B string, then you play the C bass, and then you hammer-on. So it goes like this. So in version 1 it was on a beat, so it starts with uh, the thumb and the middle finger at the same time. But in this version uh, it starts with the middle finger, the B string. Here are measure 3 till 8 slow down. Measure 9 is the same as version 2, so the E7 stays the same. Only at the end of measure 10 you already have the first notes of the F chord. So it goes like this. Here's measure 9 till 13 slow down. In measure 14 there's a little pull off like this. I place my first finger on the first of the high E string, hit it once, and then release it. So you can add the bass to it. Here are measure 14 and 15 slow down. Here's the entire song. If you like to play the song again at the end, uh, you can add the extra bass notes which are in measure 16. So the ending goes like this. And you can add the extra bass notes like this. So you're at the beginning again. For practicing, it's wise to split up the song in different parts. Start slow and increase the tempo when you feel you don't lose control over your playing. Uh, feel free to make the song your own if you like to play the melody on the count instead of off the count, or otherwise, just do it. And try to play the, this version with a little damping, with the right hand, like this. So the bass is damped. to create uh, some swing. Hope you enjoy it.